Today, I want to talk specifically about why I think Renekton sucks as a champion in most cases. I know a lot of people out there think he's great, and to each their own, but just according to the basic eye test, Renekton is one of the most ineffective top lane champions, and yet he's still one of the highest priority picks. Let's take a look. Also, 55% of you aren't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button, it really helps out the channel. So let's start by thinking about Renekton in basic terms in each phase of the game. On paper, he's a strong early game champion, strong in mid game, and falls off hard in late game. This means that assuming the enemy team has decent enough scaling, Renekton will essentially be a stun bot past 30 minutes. Considering he supposedly has a strong early lane phase and can bully a lot of melee matchups, it is essential that he gets jungle attention to ensure he can snowball lead and spike hard in the mid game. However, this is all assuming Renekton actually wins the lane matchups. A lot of common matchups we see nowadays into the croc are Jax, Kaysante, and Rumble. What do these champions all have in common? Well, first, they all scale much better than Renekton. Well, you must be thinking, if they scale better, they should be weaker in the lane, right? Well, no, that's really not the case. Rumble, for one, smashes Renekton in lane, and Jax and Kaysante both go even or winning upon first item completion. With this in mind, Renekton's supposed strong point in the game is essentially nullified because he can't exploit enemy laners in order to snowball. With all this said, the idea of Renekton being a strong early laner is a misinformed perspective, as he doesn't actually win most meta matchups, is easily counterable in draft, and thus is classified as a weak champion in his quote-unquote strong phase of the game. Another reason a lot of teams like picking Renekton is the idea of using him as a mid-game bridge to enable later game scaling. This entire concept is somewhat valid, but again, I would argue that Renekton doesn't even win most lane matchups. So if he's an early game champion that is neutralized early, he's unable to act as that bridge. Considering this, it would be much more efficient to simply draft a scaling frontliner in top lane such as Orm, who actually goes even or ahead in most melee top lanes and scales insanely well. Lastly, I quickly want to touch on just the basic eye test for Renekton. Do me a favor and just watch 10 pro games with the croc and tell me what he really accomplishes. Maybe a few times he gets off a nice flank and one shots a squishy, but that's few and far between. Most games I see Renekton, he dives in melee range and either gets outkited and killed, or chain CC'd and killed. It just doesn't appear that Renekton is a high priority champion since his supposed strengths almost never translate inside the game. Maybe if people did a more damage-focused build instead of basic bruiser, he could see some more usefulness, but with how he's played now and his current misinformed power level, teams are going to continue to lose upon picking this champion. Thanks for watching, see you next time.